Hello, sixth grade. Today we are going to be talking about nonfiction text structures. So, in your table of contents, you need to add the title nonfiction text structures and then open up to a brand new page in your uh, literature notebook. Put the page number at the bottom, title it nonfiction text structures, and we will get started. So first, what are nonfiction text structures? Well, nonfiction means uh, the real, the like informational texts, and there are five different ways that it is organized. Text structure is just how something is organized, just a fancy word that we used. Okay, there's five different ways, and you probably know most of these, uh, but you didn't know that they were under the category of text structures. So what I need you to do is to divide your page into four columns. Okay, I suggest you divide it in half and then those in half. And then you're gonna need five rows. I would just wait and draw a line after each one just so you have enough room, okay? You need to label the first one text structure and then explanation, clue words, and then we're gonna do a little drawing, okay? It shouldn't be too difficult. The first type of text structure is descriptive, and that's when they describe the characteristics of something. Say they're describing um, the, what a penguin's life is like, okay? They would use adjectives, they might use the words for example or such as. If we were going to organize this in a graphic organizer, it might look a little bit like this picture right here where there's the subject is in the middle and then you have different ideas about that subject describing it, surrounding it. The next one is chronological order. Uh, this one is the sequence of events in the order that they happened. Keywords are first, next, last, before, after dates, years. Uh, if we are talking, for example, we're going to be talking about the gold rush. We're going to learn about some of this in chronological order, the order that it happened in the gold rush. Um, this graphic organizer, where it's just one, two, three, the order that it happened makes perfect sense to me. The third one is where you compare and contrast. This uh, graphic organizer probably looks very familiar to you. The Venn diagram, where on one side you describe one thing, on the other side you describe another, and in the middle you describe the things that they share, um, the characteristics they share. You discuss the similarities and the differences between two or more things. You can have a Venn diagram with three of those, with three things where you compare and contrast them. Some keywords, some clue words are uh, like, unlike, similarly, on the other hand, etc. Next, we have cause and effect. Um, this explains events and then the results or the consequences that happens because of those events. Words that are some keywords include because or consequently or this is why or so, things like that. Um, our graphic organizer shows that because this happened, so this happened. And because this happened, or and this happened because this happened. Last one is a problem and a solution, where we describe a problem and how it was solved. Those are pretty simple, and that's the end of your notes. Please make sure you have all these written down. They are going to help you with your IXL. If you have any questions about them, let me know. Have a great day.